What's up everybody, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Brian on the beat. Today I am here with Double D right there. We're gonna go fishing. He just got in this Supreme lure. A lot of people buy it just to collect or decoration or whatever, but we're actually gonna test this out. Here's a closer look at the lure. Is there a theme to this lure? Double D, there's no theme? Well, I don't know, it's called the tiger. Yeah, you can see it's like got tiger stripes or something on it. Uh, I'm not sure what to compare the size. Let me see your phone and compare it to the phone. What kind of phone you got right there? Uh, iPhone 20. Uh, iPhone 20 with some super pale legs. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to Randy for letting us use the rod. Yeah, thanks Redneck Randy. Big shout out to Redneck Randy for letting us use his rod there. Big shout out to Double D for letting us try out his uh, Supreme Lure. This is all we got, so we're hoping not to lose it. Now the thing we have to do is we're gonna throw it, and you're supposed to kind of just let it flutter down and, and, and drill it in and let um, let the lure do its work. Should be lots of bass in here in this in this lake, so this is what a good buddy of mine, big shout out to Mike, the fishing expert. He told me this would be good for steelhead, salmon, bass. It's like 11 in the morning, already pushing 75 degrees beautiful summer. I love summertime here in Portland. And speaking of summer, big shout outs to UB for sending me a pair of swimming shorts. So let's head back to the house real quick and I'll show you guys those shorts. Here are the swimming shorts from UB and that's E-U-B-I UB. I personally chose this one but for the most part when I normally get swimming shorts I like to have very loud ones that kind of stand out. I don't want to just mix in with the crowd at the swimming pool. They have some with sushi print all over it. They have some with watermelon print. Uh, pineapple all different sorts but I kind of went with a more subtle one that they also have more subtle designs for those of you that don't want to be loud at the pool but my, my idea for getting a subtle one was the way it looked I thought I could also wear it casually that's kind of my goal just casually if I'm at the beach I'm actually going to the beach next weekend so I thought maybe I can wear it casually and not have to change too much but right away as I look at it and get a feel for it um, it's very the stitching is very on point the way it looks the way it feels you can tell it's very uh, Well done premium materials. It's got a rope drawstring with with the metal tips and, and even the the metal detailing around where the drawstring comes out the holes like little stuff like that really catch my eye if you look closely you can see the etched their logo onto that metal part too again these are swim shorts so if you look inside you can see this white mesh lining it also has two pockets one on the left side and one on the right side head over to the back side it's got one pocket on the back side a velcro pocket and in the middle it has a embroidered patch ub logo and at the very bottom here is this metal drain hole that way water doesn't fill up in your back pocket but i think that's pretty much on the shorts let me stand up real quick show you guys how it looks on me see how it feels all right, it does feel good. It's very lightweight, gotta say, very comfortable. It's also stretchy. I don't think I mentioned that yet. It's, it's very a stretchy design. Here's how it looks from the bag. Give you guys a little booty shot. And you know, the only real critique I think I can have is they are fairly short. I normally like my shorts maybe to like right at the top of my knee. So you can see my, my pale thighs here that hasn't seen sunlight in about 20 years. So that's probably my only critique of the shorts. A lot of people probably like their some some shorts short like this. So maybe I'm just I'm just nitpicking. So yeah, go check out that website, ubofficial.com. That's E-U-B-I official.com. You see all the wide variety of shorts that they have. Also, I have a promo code. I will leave that down in the description box below. It's for a 10% discount. And by now I'm hoping I caught a fish already. So let's head back to the lake. Let's go. All right, we were back again. Use my promo code for a discount for the shorts. Now we're gonna get the lure opened up and we just put uh, some sort of knot. Hopefully it holds it up. Put this on, let's cast this bad boy out. Let's catch a fish. And here's the dock for those that have never been to Blue Lake. They built this, this dock just for fishing. If it doesn't bite here, we're gonna move to different areas of the lake, maybe over there off the path or something. This dock was built in 1933 by uh, Christopher Columbia. <laughs> you need to work on that joke. Uh, uh, custard. Double D got the perfect fishing shoes on. The the LA to Chicago Jordan ones. I put on the Concord Elevens. The first cast of the day. Let's go, Double D. We got the Supreme Lure on. Let's hope no uh, game wardens come in me because I'm an alien. So let's throw it out. Throw it out towards the middle of the lake. Let's see what we got. 
headed way over those mountains over there. Boom, there it goes. You got it maybe 20, 30 feet out there. Let it sink for a few seconds, right? Yeah. And just slowly reel it in. Just slowly reel it in, let the lure do its work. Find me on HDTV, uh, Double D's uh, finds. Do we get anything? Do we get anything? Big monster, bluefin tuna? Oh, we caught a yellow. Oh, we caught a supreme fish. <laughs> a supreme lure. Nothing. All right. Come on, come on, let's do this. Cast number two, let's go. I'm gonna throw out my first line right here. Throw it right out to the middle of the lake. Damn airplane causing all this noise, but maybe that's a good sign. Let's catch a monster. Alright, let's catch a fish. Woohoo! 100 yards out there. Let's see if Brian's gonna catch a fish. We're in that public enemy, Supreme. Yes, sir. Alright, let's see if Brian caught anything. Alright. We got a shark on a on the hook. What the hell kind of fish is that? Well, at least we know our knot is really good. <laughs> <laughs> We're having no luck on the open side of the lake, so WD decided oh, to, I think I got something. to try, try something. I, I think I legit got something. You got something? Either that or I'm stuck. So he decided to throw it on the inside of the pier. It looks like he got some weight on it. Um, not too fast, not too fast. He might, uh, you don't want to break it off. Did you pull it like, give it a yank, kind of like set the hook. That's kind of the risky part about this side. Fuck, I think I got it stuck. Don't do it too hard. Just slowly get it out. <laughs> this is our only lure. It might be a fish. Is it fighting you? No. That was scary, but he did not catch anything. He was just on some, some de debris at the bottom there, as you can see. So maybe we'll stay on this side of the lake. <laughs> Hoping we can catch a fish early enough so we can go do some of this paddle boat. Here's Brian's 50,632 yes. attempts. Cast number 10 billion 169. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna try kind of like in the middle here. We're opening where the, uh, the paddle boats are. Hopefully we have some luck. We want to try over by the lily pad, but that looks sketchy. I think we're gonna get our lure caught and, and lost. And then Brian will owe me 30 bucks. All the way to the bottom, yes. 50 feet down there. Sink just like your career. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like a bunch of geese just joined us out on the lake. That may be a good sign of life, so we're gonna try to cast towards that way and, and see what happens. Don't hit one of the geese. <laughs> Bloop, you knock out one of the geese. <laughs> About an hour in now, so far nothing. I'm tired, your boy had to sit down, relax. I got double D over there, you were in a casting. I think we may dip to a different spot here in a lake if not go to a different lake plus all the recreational boulders are out now I don't know if this is gonna help us or or not but look at that that looks like fun though we need to get to know them <laughs> it's kind of dry over there on a dock so we moved pretty much right beside it the docks the docks right there so we moved over here but I think double D got it stuck on a rock any luck it stuck pretty good. It's our only lure too. Be careful. Last resort. Good thing he wears tr swim trunks. I think he's gonna go fishing, go diving for his fishing lure. Why is not bad? Probably feels good on a day like today. You probably go out like waist deep and, and start fishing. I'm gonna continue, continuously record in case he uh, he falls in there head first so I can get on, on camera. Can you see what it's caught on? I'm about to dunk your head, dude. <laughs> you got it? Yes! Yes, success! <laughs> Everybody's looking at us like we're crazy. Yeah. Shit, they don't know we got a Supreme loop. They don't know we're, we're from the fishing channel. <laughs> Everybody, everybody's looking at us like, why is he filming this guy going in the lake? <laughs> what did we catch? Let's see what we caught. Fishing lure is still alive. Bunch of seaweed. Blue Lake was a bust, so we're going to another spot. Absolute bust. You guys saw Double D swimming in the lake. We're gonna head to a different pond in Fairview. It's about probably about what five minutes away. Yeah, five ten minutes. So it's it's a uh, hopefully it has more fish in there. So we're gonna head there and try to catch something. 
to make something out this video. We just drove like five minutes down the road from Blue Lake. We are here at Salish Pond. So I've never been here before. But I'm seeing lots of other fishermen here, so there is signs of life. Hopefully we can catch something. I oh, mean, I really want to do it for this video. Salish Ponds Wetland Park. Not sure if I'm even saying that right for those that know. Correct me in the comment section below if I'm saying it wrong. But it looks like there's two ponds. There's a west pond, there's an east pond. It's a lot bigger than I thought. We found this little fishing hole here. It's kind of a little sketchy, all these rocks. I definitely did not come dressed for for fishing like this. <laughs> get a double D, we just saw a bird dive in there and get a fish. Hopefully I don't die. There are tons of little fishes we can see in here. Oh no, no, don't disturb them. Oh shit, even though I just scared all the way. Look at that. Everywhere. We should just pull up one of these fishes right here. <laughs> we caught a fish. <laughs> we moved over to the dock here because there's a lot less debris over here. We didn't want to get, you know, the lure caught in debris and get lost. So Double D is about to toss it right now. Oh man, you messed it up already. But check out this dock over here. It's like it's like a, a plastic structure. I thought it was wood from a, from across the pond. All right, that was the first cast in the Salish Pond. The couple that was here right before I said they caught a bluegill. So the, so there is hope for us. Throw this bad boy out to the center of the lake. Thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. Unfortunately, Double D and myself, we did not catch any fish. You know, it was kind of a, a shot in the dark, I guess, needle in a haystack thing for us. You know, I don't, I'm sure it wasn't the lure, it's probably more our skill and, and our fishing locations. I tried to get a good buddy of mine who's an expert fisherman, Mike, to go with us. But he was busy working today, so he couldn't join us. And he even texted me afterwards because we told him we didn't catch any fish. And he said that lure is more of a salmon lure. And, you know, we were fishing for bass. There were bass in those lakes. But he said you had to find the right conditions. I still wanted to give it a try because he just got that lure. So most people bought it for decoration collection display whatever i wanted to put that lure to use and that's what we did plus i had a great time thank you to those of you that made it to the end of the video maybe next month or something when when my buddy mike is free we can actually head somewhere where we can actually catch a fish with this lure but until then hopefully you guys liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and until my next video see ya the color of the box is also themed after hawkins high school that's why you get mainly green and white this is a size eight and a half because these are my son's shoes and they retail for 120 dollars and on one side of the box you can see it says 1985 nike stranger things and on the back side you see the hawkins high school logo